a missing teenager found in Marine Barracks in Camp Pendleton. This is a damn shame, put up the picture full mask. I'm about to give you a hell of a story to an evil industry connected now to the United States Marine. United States Marine taken into custody after a missing 14 year old girl was found in the barracks at Camp Pendleton. The Marine's name has not yet been published. We know he was in Battalion 5, Combat Logistics 5, First Marine Logistics Group. A US Marine was taken into custody after a missing 14 year old girl was found inside the barracks at Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton. This was in San Diego. And the teen's family says she was sold for sexual reasons and sexually violated by the alleged perpetrator. The teenage girl who had learning disabilities, she has learning disabilities, allegedly ran away from her home on June 9th and was reported missing by her grandmother on June 13th. She was discovered inside the barracks by military police on June 28th, almost 20 days after she disappeared. Her aunt Cassandra Perez said, we do have this photo, this is all we have. The unnamed Marine was arrested, seen in this photo being escorted in handcuffs by military police. This is a statement from the aunt. The reality is the whole facility allowed this to happen. The security looked her in the face and allowed this man to bring a minor onto base where he then proceeded to have sex with her. Due to her age, she could not have given this consent. Naval Criminal Investigative Services is handling the investigation. The San Diego County Sheriff's Department and the San Diego Human Trafficking Task Force are supporting NCIS with the investigation. Now, if the aunt's claim is correct, you have a bigger problem than just this one Marine. Mm -hmm. It would mean that everybody there from entry to exit had knowledge, was aware and possibly participated in the human trafficking and sexual exploitation of a minor in the United States Marine Corps. Um, I know Marines, I have a producer who's a Marine. Marines are good people, fight hard work diligently. This is a bad story for them and for this country. Severe penalty and an exhaustive, authentically exhaustive investigation must accompany this. All right, Jeff thoughts here. I wanna say this based on what her aunt provided as far as a quote. I wanna provide this to everybody considering what legislation is being passed around in this country. Due to her age, she could not have given this consent. This is something that we should preach and practice all the time based on legislation that's being passed in this country more often. This story is gross and horrible and I'm hoping the other people involved because there has to be, as you said, I hope justice is brought to them as well.